Hi there, welcome to another video. So, we are drawing to a close on Warhammer 40k Conquest. We have still got 15 issues after the one that which I reviewed tonight, which will be issue 65. What I thought I'd do is take a quick look through all of the issues we've got to go. We've got the covers for most of them. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on what we've got coming up between now and the end. And then I want to know what you guys are going to do at the end. You know, the you guys that have been collecting this magazine over the last 65 weeks. Um, are you going to stick to Death Guard and Space Marines? Are you going to branch out to something else? Be interesting to see what happens. Okay, so we'll go on the last issue I reviewed, which is 64, and we got an Astrogranite refill. Moving on to the issue which I'm going to review today, which is a really good one. Issue 65, we've got Space Marine Heroes. I believe it's a captain and a lieutenant. I believe that's what they are, but yeah, those look great. So I'm looking forward to reviewing those tonight. Next week, we've got the Plague Marine Icon Bearer, who looks really cool. So that's another good issue coming up. Issue 67, Scouts with Sniper Rifles. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the last Scouts we got. I think the models are okay, I just don't like the heads. The heads on them are, I think, about 10, 15 years old or something like that. I just don't, I just don't enjoy those so much. So I swapped those out for the ones that I've got. But yeah, I'm looking forward to these because I did want this Sniper Squad in there. So that's a good one. Then issue 68, the Hematope Reactor. So another good piece of terrain. Um, this is another one that's going to have its own rules and that kind of thing as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Issue 69, Plague Marine Champion. So another good character we've got coming up. Issue 70, we've got more paint. Cadian Flesh Tone and White Scar. Enough said about that really, but yeah, more paint. Issue 71, We've got Sector Mechanicus Crane. Now that is, I've already got one of these and they are very, very cool. Quite a little bit bigger than you might think as well. So that's another good one for terrain. Issue 72. This is one that I'm really looking forward to, the Chaos Spawn. Now the Chaos Spawn, these models can be used in Age of Sigmar and Warhammer 40k. And these are also Beasts of Chaos for Warcry, which is what I really, really want them for. So that is a really good issue. And I think these two, if you buy them separately, you're talking about 25 quid or something like that. So really good value for money for this issue. Issue 73, we've got, I think this is our last paint one, Nurgle's Rot, not Nilac Oxide. So that's that. Issue 74, we've got the Get Death Guard Tally Man. It says Tally Men on there, but we're only getting one. And I think there is only one tally man on the you can have on the on the board as well. But yep, so that's quite a good one as well. Now from here on in, we haven't got any more covers, but we know what the content's gonna be. So for issues 75 to 78, we have got the Primaris Repulsor. Now, this has basically it comes on three sprues and then it's got a massive base. So three of the issues will be the different sprues. And then the last one will be the massive base that it goes on. And then finally, the last two issues we re receive will be the final installments, which will be the Galvanic Magna event. So that's on two sprues as well. And that will draw our conquest to a close. So I'm really looking forward to what we've got coming up in the next 15 weeks. Um, I am enjoying collecting Space Marines and Death Guard. I like a lot of the newer Space Marines and stuff that's coming out, the Vanguard stuff, and there's been lots and lots of new stuff that's come out in the last five or six months. I wonder if, as a result of this finishing, I wonder if they'll release more Death Guard stuff as well to kind of complement what people have already got from this. Because I'm pretty sure there's a couple of thousand people subscribing to this magazine, and I think if they support those armies going forward, they might, they might do quite well. And then after this, um, obviously we've got Mortal Realms coming, and looking far, far ahead, I wonder if they'll ever come back to 40k Conquest and maybe look at another couple of uh, another couple of armies, or maybe build upon Space Marine and Death Guard again if they bring out more Death Guard stuff. So interesting. So let me know what you guys are going to be doing in the future with your 40k. When this comes to a close, if you are collectors, uh, let me know what you're going to move on to. Are you going to stick to the to the armies you've got? Are you going to sell them? Are you going to move on to something new? Because don't forget, all that terrain, you can use it for anything. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely move on and get a new army. So let me know in the comments what you intend to do. And I'll see you very, very soon for another update.